I want you to look at this image and I want you to tell me what you think it is. This is this. Are you alive today? Do you have passions? Do you have pursuits? Do you have things that make you feel special? Do you have people in your life who make you feel special? Is life just a groundhog day? Get up, hit the floor, brush my teeth, shower, go there, go there, go there, and that's it? Your life is not a masterpiece like that. Your life is probably more like this. That's the person who's not alive, who doesn't experience the fullness of life. Again, God gives us the power, the power to mold our existence into these places of order, these places of fruitfulness, and these places of vitality. I have lived, I would say maybe three years ago, so lost. I was like, is this my life right now? I had no hobbies. I had no fun. My whole life was centered on making my kids happy. And that was the wrong move. So I had to make the steps to put my life in order. And I realized, well, if I spend a couple of hours away from my kids, I'm okay. They'll live. And so will I for the first time in forever. But the idea is when we look at the creation story, it's meant to inspire a people whose lives are not the way they envisioned it. And to remind them that God has something bigger and better for us. But we have the power to take control of it.